thought United were going to get an Italian side. Mm. Uh, difficult. So United, we've pushed them out slightly. They were 13 to two, out to seven to one. United teams not as, uh, Italian teams not as strong as they were. Of course, they've played uh, AC Milan twice in the European Cup uh, recently in the semis in the 2007. They went out, yeah. went out in the last 16 in 2005. But of course, what are the headlines going to be tomorrow? The return of Bex. Indeed. What about this? Bex to score the winner to knock United out. Odds. 33 to one. Oof. 33 to 1. Wow. So, Barcelona have shortened. Easy draw for Barcelona. German football in the doldrums. They've got Stuttgart. Uh, Barcelona, 130 Berlin to Bertie. Chelsea are 4 to 1. The return of Mourinho to Inter Milan. What a game that's going to be. Uh, Real Madrid have got Lyon. They're 11 to 2. United are 7 to 1. Arsenal, 15 to 2. I quite fancy Sevilla as a bit of an outside bet. They're uh, 14 to 1. United to qualify. We do think they qualify. The favourites. So they're 9 to 4 on to qualify. Uh, an all-English final. That would be cracking, wouldn't it? In well, the yeah. Bernabeu as well. Yeah. Ronaldo just having to watch from the stands. <laughs> five to one an all-English final. Really? Yeah, five wow. to one for an all-English final. Uh, yeah. Eleven to five for all English sides to progress to the next round. And seven to four for United to the best out of the three English sides. Okay. So a Champions League draw. The headlines are obviously Beckham back at Old Trafford. Beckham to grow a beard to play at Old Trafford. <laughs> Beckham back at Old Trafford. Oh, well, With a beard. Probably odds on, isn't it? Yeah. It's probably odds on. <laughs> You know, very, very, you know, very uh, short price that. And obviously Mourinho returning to Chelsea. Interesting, Some yeah. Some cracking ties and it's going to be fantastic European Cup this year. And of course, European Cup being played on the Saturday night for the first time. Yeah, indeed. The final on a Saturday night. Okay. Big sports odds. Can I um, keep, no, can I on. keep them on spot? Yeah, go on, just for then, go on quick. Uh, United and City this weekend. Sorry. OK, uh, I think Manchester United have got a tough trip tomorrow at Craven Cottage. Uh, they lost 2-0 there last season. Wayne Rooney got sent off, and that was the first time they lost at Craven Cottage, I think, 1964. Uh, Fulham are 11-2, the draws 11-4, United 7-4 on. So tough. I've heard Vidic has got a chance, so I think okay. Vidic is absolute key. They're going to have to be... Uh, Played pretty well tomorrow. I think it could be a tough, tough game for uh, United with these injury problems at the back. Uh, City obviously look easier task for them. Yeah. They're at home to Sunderland. City two to one on the draw, three to one. Uh, Sunderland six to one. And of course, uh, Mark Hughes will want to get back to winning ways after that disappointing uh, defeat midweek. I think Chelsea could drop points this weekend now. They go to Upton Park. Obviously, uh, West Ham under pressure. It was 1-0 uh, to Chelsea last season at Upton Park, but they did draw one all at Stamford Bridge. So, if United can win this weekend, I think they could close the gap because I think Chelsea will drop points at Upton Park. And, of course, on Monday night, uh, Wigan are 11-10. Uh, the draw's 9-4. Bolton 5-2. to two. OK. Five the Excellent. Five, yeah. OK, telly odds now. But it is like a job interview, this, isn't it? Yep. What are you going to give us on Strictly? <laughs> OK, it's the, the final, uh, final of, of Strictly come dancing. Obviously, uh, Manchester's Ricky Whittle is back being the favourite now. He's 5-6. to six. Uh, Chris Hollins and the lovely Ola is 6-5. Uh, <laughs> to five. I think that's one of the reasons uh, Chris has uh, stayed in, actually. Uh, because she doesn't really wear a great deal, does she, Ola? Very skimpy, indeed. Yes, and uh, very nice dresses as well, I've noticed. Very nice very yeah. You've clearly noticed. Yes, She's yes, an yes. Entry yes. Times already. Uh, and talking of Totty... Yes. Miss World was a good result for us, by the way. <laughs> uh, Pass me by, Mark, enlighten me. Miss Puerto Rico was well-backed. However, the 250-1 to 1 outsider, Miss Gibraltar, won. Oh, now, yeah. here's an interesting fact for you. The executive producer of Miss World is called Warren Bachelor. What an apt name. Yeah. Well, you would be a bachelor, wouldn't you? If you're just hanging around with 200, <laughs> of pieces, you of, 200 pieces of sauce all the time. You don't want to tie bachelor, yourself down, you? do you? Exactly. You can't just call them exactly. 200 pieces of sauce. They all want to be international politicians, don't they, and save the world and things like that. I, and look very after children. And intelligent and women. Just... What I want for Christmas is world peace, just like yeah. probably most of those oh, Much made world. in heaven. Yeah, on this world. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's, um, that, that's Strictly. Now, we must get on to this thing that uh, Nicky's been talking about in entertainment. This, this year, Christmas number one and Mr mm. McKeldry and Rage Against the Machine. OK, What right. do you think? Uh, well, we've seen a hell of a punt on Rage Against the Machine, but I think those who've backed it to be number one will miss out. Those who've backed it without X Factor will be collecting. At one point yesterday, it was neck and neck. However, uh, the X Factor single, which is Climb, is it? Hannah Matanas. Don't think it's particularly very good. I think there should be Christmas in there. It's a bit like when it was E17 and Stay. I was appalled when that was Christmas number one. You should have <laughs> snow and Christmas <laughs> See, in the Christmas number one, them. shouldn't you? Yeah. It should be the, like, for me, it Look should be the re-release of the Pogues and Kirsten McCall, which incredibly didn't get to number one in 1987. No. So, <laughs> who's going to be number one? Well, Joe's now six to one on. Rage Against Machine, kill him in the name of, is uh, out to seven to two. 
So I think the battle for the Christmas number one is over, and it'll be X Factor just like for the last four years. Mm. Actually, the Muppet song, the Bohemian Rhapsody. All right, I know it doesn't mention Christmas. That's quite good. That's thirty-three <laughs> to one. Now. Other Christmas betting. You can bet on the most popular TV program on Christmas Day. Now, at the moment, we've got EastEnders as a short price favourite, and then obviously Coronation Street. If you want to bet without the soaps. Doctor Who is yeah, the favourite, so. and then there's the royal it? family, and then Gavin and Stacey. There's a quick word on the soaps. What they do deliberately, there's going to be heartbreak in Coronation Street, by the way, on Christmas Day. Don't want to ruin it for you, but there's going to be heartbreak. What they do is done by the government deliberately. They make the soaps on Christmas Day as bad as possible. So if you're not having a very good Christmas Day, <laughs> you watch your soaps and go, well, at least it's not as bad as <laughs> exactly. Sally Webster's Christmas Day. Ooh! I'm going to give it away. <gasps> Sally oh, Webster is going to have an awful it? Christmas We're nearly day. done. Uh, last time you sat in front of me and said you'd give me six to one a white Christmas in Manchester. Now we've had a bit of snowfall since. What are the odds now? Right. I know if in the bookmakers A to Z under W it says send a press release out about white Christmas. Yes, clearly, yeah. Right. But it was double figures two weeks ago. We've seen all sorts of money. The punters are piling in. And now we're just two to one for a single really? snowflake two to, to fall on the Channel wow. M studios. And don't be trying it on. <laughs> I'm over there watching. Watch OK. It. So just one <laughs> snowflake snow on the Channel M studios is now just two to one. It's been backed wow. in. I wish White put Christmas some money on the is the story. <laughs> and I tell you what, it's odds on as well, isn't it? A bit of snow down south and it becomes headline news. What's wrong with them? They're soft, aren't they? <laughs> It's only a little bit of snow, Christ. We get on with it, don't we? we Schools, do. clothes, all sorts, a disgrace. Soft southern shandies. Thank you. Well, there you Merry go. Christmas. <laughs> right, so Merry Christmas to you, to you See too, Scrooge. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. South of Watford.